Previously on Survivor. Dylan and I have essentially been playing a very similar game this whole time by sitting back and allowing people to give us information. I don't feel comfortable going to the final three without you and Cass. Yeah. This is me and you, so <laughs> yeah. just you and no, me. No, 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 I have you 100%. Okay, yeah, like, I have you. I have you. There's no one else I want to go to the end. Okay. Unless Dylan and Cassie are like secretly planning to get me out, which I don't think they are because they need me just as much as I need them. Two, one, reveal. Brady. Uh, so, Cooper, I'd like to play with Cooper. Aliza, Not the tribe has spoken. the game with someone who I really care about. The people I really care about. And that breaks my heart. That really breaks my heart. Because you guys, they are my friends. You guys, Brady, you've been nice to me. Dylan, you've been nice to me. Cass, you've all been nice to me, but you haven't had that connection. Austin, I've lost a hell of a lot of people. I know. Yeah, we just have to take up, like brush ourselves off, and yeah. we keep going. That's yeah. still hurts. I know. Still really hurts. Aliza being gone changes a lot of things for me. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Now, at this point, it's no secret that Aliza has meant a lot to me in the game and out of the game, just as a friend. I gotta be honest, I am really sad right now. We were each other's number one. Anytime we could always debrief on any meetings and, and talk about what the best way to move forward was for the two of us and now like Now I, I honestly I have not felt this alone the entire game Well Austin was very mad after tribal right like yes. He has every right to be emotional. However Did not need to yell at everyone did not need to get that God, oh, Austin was God. really, yeah. I don't, he really didn't like that Lisa got He was, got he was no. cursing like on the way down uh, the stairs. He was kind of on the outs anyway, especially after his little scream fuss. Can't believe he did that. And I know he really cares about this game, but like, that also like, mixes things up in kind of a negative way, and like, takes it to a like a personal level, and I think we're, none of us really want to take it there. For everyone left in the game, if you're watching this, that this makes the final cut, you know, I'm not mad at y'all personally. I'm mad at you in the game. I'm very mad at you in the game, but I'm not mad at you personally. Austin texted me like very shortly after tribal, like apologizing for how he reacted and everything. In Japanese, we say "ganbari masho." Let's do our best. So I'm going to do my best. And sometimes my best is imperfect. Sometimes my best is me getting really angry because that's just how my brain works. That's just how I can be. And when you can live with your imperfections, you can embrace them and know that it doesn't make you a bad person. It makes you you.
How did this happen to me? I used to have allies. I used to have friends. I used to have people who wanted to work with me. I used to have control in the game. I had all that stuff. Man, it was really great when I was at the top of the mountain, looking down at everyone, with my buddies by my side. I had my Emily P in one corner, my Elisa in another corner. I had my sights on Ben, about to snipe him out and then move forward with the Innovatrium. Damn, those were the days. Ah, oh, man. Yo. Dude, Tribal was crazy. That's all I can say. The Brady shares his immunity as he's supposed to, and Dylan steals it. <laughs> so I'm still here. <laughs> uh, Dylan. Dylan, why'd you... Why did you steal? That just makes no sense to me whatsoever, but... I steal, Brady stays, I'm good for two weeks, and Brady goes home. Which would be pretty nice, I feel pretty, pretty good about that. <laughs> Wait, Mom, you're on speaker and on oh, camera. Do you want to say that again? No, come on. <laughs> she just calls me and because I text her just Dylan stole dot dot dot. And she goes, no, I'm so sorry. That was so low for you. Blah, blah. <laughs> and then I just text her, but Aaron played her idol for me and now I'm good. And she just calls me and goes, why did you tell me about the idol first? <laughs> so I'm here. I hate that my destiny was, you know, in the hands of someone else, but... That's what I need to do to make it through this week. I still think I have control my own game and control my own destiny for the most part. Like, I was the one who made the relationship with Aaron, so. My key phrase was stick to the plan. And that applied to everybody. Because I wanted Dylan, Brady, and Cassie to all stick to our plan and vote Elisa so that my vote didn't go to the wrong person. And I wanted Austin, Devin, Will, and Elisa to all stick to our plan of voting Brady so that I knew who the fuck to play the idol on. Aaron's a goddamn mastermind. And I'm hoping that Austin, Will, and Devin just start to scramble a little bit. I mean, we cut the head off the snake, so... What just happened to us? We got straight fucked. <laughs> yeah, we got pretty fucked. Um, Our whole game has been blown up. Aaron is essential 100% with them. Yep. Um, and 100% without us. The thing I can't believe is that Aaron, oh, she's had this plan for weeks. For weeks. This goes all the way back to that tribal council where Emily B got voted out. They all walked out of there. They all said that Aaron played her idol. They've been planning this all along. Aaron bought us dinner at Pizza House. She played Monopoly. She played Patty Cake with Eliza. She spent so much time with us this week. And she was just waiting for this. Waiting. All along. Aaron? Met with us for at Pizza House for like two, three, two hours. Or two or three, three hours. hours. She played Monopoly paid, with us. Paid, paid for, for our us meal. Like a gangster, buying played us our Monopoly last meal for four hours. It wasted our time. When she, she played knew the whole time, she was gonna do this. She knew the whole time. She played patty cake last night with Elisa <laughs> for like five minutes, and I filmed it. There's photographic evidence on my Dropbox of that right now. Them playing patty cake. She did her dirty. <laughs> I've never seen someone get done that dirty. Wait, that's actually... elisa has got royally fucked. She got royally fucked, and our only move is oh to suck God. up to Aaron. Yeah, we that's have it. to suck her. That's all we oh have. We God. just have to go up to Aaron and be like, Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, wow, good move. Great Jeez, move. I sure hope you don't do it to us next. <laughs> hey, do you want to go to the end? We'll never vote you out. Please. <laughs> and, like, literally, directly after Tribal, everyone's texting me. And whether it's to apologize, whether to say, hey, respect the move, dude. Like, good, good move. And then I'm like, yeah, thank you. It was a good move. That's why I made it. Like, I never had any relationship with Devin. I never intended to work with him, and now he is my, he's like my little brother now. Like, I love Devin. I love Devin. He is so funny. He's so nice. He's a silly goon. And I literally feel like this guy is my little brother. He's like, well, what are we going to do now? We're screwed, man. I'm like, it's all right, Devin, shut up. We'll be fine. We'll figure it out, you know? Like... <laughs> What the hell? Aaron just wants to be with the nice people. 
happen. Are we not the nice people? No, we were never the nice That's people. True. That's the big. And yeah, I go to the end with Devin because no one even knows. That, like, like I said to him, we were sitting there. I was like, I think I'm screwed, Devin, because Austin just made himself look like an asshole. And no one even knows who the fuck you are, so they're not going to vote you out. Like, I'm the threat now. And... I mean, he kind of he kind of owns that he doesn't like go hard in this game. Yeah, it seems to be a good strategy for him too. <laughs> It'd be a great way to get third place. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And then they don't no, go but, with look, the I'm one. telling you, I'm going to the end right, with you. Right, I will never, fine. ever, right, ever, right. ever vote you out. Okay, I promise. Okay. 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 All right. We're gonna we're gonna do this. Vote. We're gonna, we have to. We're gonna do it. There's a lot of them. They're all really strong, and they'd have to be crazy to vote us out. I, I hate that Aaron is just sitting back and like having no emotions because she knows she's safe and it's so fucking annoying because oh i don't know it's just so annoying because she i guess like is like playing both sides and now she feels like she's in a position where she controls the game i mean i guess now this is her revenge tour i knew it i was even thinking like did, did i say to you or to lisa who i told it? you this is too good to be true she has this girl power thing with cassie um like, it's so stupid, like, oh, like, we're gonna take over the game and go to the final two girl power. But hey, girl power, me and Cassie. I know people really underestimate me, but like, I've been like really playing this game, it's just in the end, we're not on an island. Like, oh my god, my eyes opened to how much of a badass Cassie is. Like, holy shit, I love her. What a strong woman. Like, girl power all the way. Cassie is a goddess. I think people are smart enough to realize that they are stronger than people think they are. Brady and I are BFFs. Listen, I, I wouldn't say I felt safe, but I definitely was like, either side would be stupid to vote me out, so. So you were, that's what you're saying. All right, yeah, I, I did, I felt safe, it was good. It felt good. Yeah, screw you, screw you, Aaron. <laughs> Brady, you are still here, okay? I don't want to hear it. Because of you? Yeah. You owe me two weeks of safety. That's all I'm saying. I will... I'll give you, like, one cookie. That's that's your reward. I will, I will get you a mojo cookie. How about that? <gasps> Alright, I'll take it. There you go, that's... That, that's that's maybe enough. I'm glad, <laughs> glad we can't do it again. <laughs> and a dog. I need a dog, too. We are... We've taken each other to the end. So there's no bottom person over there. We just got two two duos. But Brady and I are a secret duo. Wink wink. I'm saying like that's what we pitched to her. Yeah, like what? hey, oh. if Brady wins at four, you're fucked. He's winning no matter what. We already pitched that to her. Hashtag stop Brady from why winning. Why does she like Brady so much? Because she, she, cause she's fucking in love with him. That's why she likes Brady so much probably not throwing out that she has a crush on Brady, which she probably doesn't, but um, I don't know, that's really mean. I, I, I caught the, see, it's like Emily P has already been voted out of this game and some of her residual nastiness is still driving uh, my zingers in this game. Like she was the one who had said that about Aaron having a crush on Brady. I just hope that going forward, um, the four of us can still, you know, hold on to that. Cause yeah, there's cracks and there's less like mistrust and everything, but we fucking need each other. Let me tell you. I mean, we're down to seven. I made it to the final seven. How cool is that? I'm sad it wasn't the final seven I wanted. I mean, that would have been a lot more fun. Cause I was really hoping this game would be fun. But as the great, legendary Keith Nail has said, Survivor ain't fun. Going on a cruise is fun. Playing golf is fun. This ain't fun. Survivor ain't fun anymore. And then I've also heard that you have said to somebody that you, even like within the four that we made, you, me, Elise, and Devin, you said that you wouldn't go to the end with me because you think that I would did I tell that, that to Austin? Win. When did Austin, so did Austin say that to you like this weekend or something? Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's basically throwing me under the bus? Yeah. She also told me that Austin was texting her Friday night 
and that apparently Austin told her that like he knew that you, me, and Eliza were working with her and that we were making a fake four with her and that we had intended to vote oh, her out at five. Shit. He's yeah, he oh, took yeah. Shit. Austin completely threw us under the bus to try to protect his ass this week, basically. I wasn't gonna go forward with Will anyway. But now I really are. I'm really not. I'm not I'm not gonna write your name down. I made you that promise and I'm never gonna write your name down. Really? Yes, really. Okay. That means a lot. So what if they all say they want me voted out this week and you're the fourth out of seven to do it? To? To vote me out at the next tribal council. I'm not gonna write your name down. Really? Really. Okay. Her saying that she promises that she won't write my name down, I don't believe you at all, Aaron. I think that's a load of horse shit. So I gotta start working on some other plans. Well, what about this? What? Um, we know Brady is the biggest threat in this game. Yeah. And after what Aaron has gone through, as well as her quote-unquote big move last week, yeah. she could easily win as well. Yeah, she could easily win as well. It's definitely so scary. So, what, what about this? We, me, you, Dylan, and Cassie work together. From talking to Devin last night, I think we gotta get in with, Devin, or with uh, Dylan and Cassie. I think we need to make Dylan realize that Brady and Aaron are the two biggest threats in the game and that Aaron is closer to everyone than he is and that Aaron's way closer to Cassie than he realizes. He's like, uh, do you have any good time tomorrow? He said, I'm pretty free. And I was like, okay, sure, how about 7 p.m.? And he said, yeah, I could probably do that. What's probably do that mean? Why do people say that? Why can't he just say yes? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think he just wants me, wants me to feel like, um... I don't know, whatever. I think he's just trying to already put me in a beta position going into this meeting by saying that. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Whatever, that's fine. That's fine for him, I'm okay with that. I'm just a tool for Dylan to use, that's all. Since the merge, my game has just been like, what's Aaron gonna do, what's Aaron gonna do, what's Aaron gonna do? Like that's been, I've just been like hoping she would choose yeah. my side yeah. over your side for like five weeks now. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah. yeah, and honestly, like, I I probably ended up helping your guys' case better, I mean, like, in terms of, like, Aaron's relationship, um, because it, so it sounded like she was, she was, like, she really liked our group, and then, like, me doing something that she didn't expect, it's probably, like, she's a little more wary, um, but, like, I wouldn't be surprised if she's just, like, pretty buddy-buddy with Brady now at this point. Honestly, like... Like he, he, if he goes to if he goes to the final tribal vote, he's gonna be able to do it. I know, I know. Um, Even this past week, like I met with her individually, like when I, I don't know if it was like day before, um, and I didn't want to push. I didn't want to push any obvious hints, and I was just like, "Who do you think's the most dangerous right now?" <laughs> and just 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 to see what she would she would yeah. say. What she said. And she never she never said Brady. Um, okay. Something I talked about with Will, when it comes down to it, you or I or basically anybody else needs to win except for Brady. I would say Brady this week. Um, okay. Um, and so you, know, so you so you right, so you would vote Brady out this week if he doesn't win again. Yeah, I, 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 that's amazing. But at least like don't even. Don't mention anything to Cassie yet, just so we don't no, no, just scare no, 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 anything no, with no, it. Just so we don't scare no, anything. No, no, I agree. Oh man, that's that's amazing. This is like the best thing. Yeah. Alright, come on. Alright, come on in guys. Welcome to your next immunity challenge. <laughs> Dylan, first things first, I will take one of those back. Ooh. Good, good, call. Uh, good, call, good, call. good call, kept the red one. Immunity is back up for grabs once again. Today's challenge is touchy subject. Yes! About time! For those of you who know what that is, yes. stay excited. For those who don't, we are going to email you a quiz. It has 15 questions on it. You guys will choose one of you, including yourselves, as answers for all 15, we will then regroup, and you will show the person who you think got the most answers to that question. After 15 questions, whoever has the most correct answers will win immunity 
this week. All right, you've all filled out the quiz. So here we go. <clears throat> Question one, who is most likely to be cast on Real Survivor? All right, three, two, one, reveal. Correct answer is Austin. Hey, Austin. Austin. <laughs> Austin. <laughs> Keep your answer up. up. Keep them up. <laughs> oh, what did you have? Dylan. Uh, <laughs> Austin, <laughs> Dylan, Aaron, and Brady score. Oh, he's doing both. Question <laughs> two: Who is the biggest competitive beast in the game? Three, two, one, reveal. Everybody says <laughs> Brady is the correct answer. Winner. Moving on to question three. Who is least likely to be your friend after the game? Oh, I answered that question. Least oh. likely. Well. <laughs> Three, two, one, reveal. Oh. Will, Austin, and Devin say Cassie. Dylan says Austin. Cassie says Austin. Aaron, Devin, and Brady. Will, correct answer is Cassie. Will, Austin, and Devin score. Question four, who would you most likely want to be in a showman's with? I hated this question. All right, three, two, one, reveal. We got some Brady's on this end. Cassie's in the middle. Cassie says herself. Dylan's on the end over there. There are two correct answers. Brady and Dylan. Hey! Oh, no. Everybody but Dylan and Cassie is four points. <laughs> I'm not killing this. <laughs> Question five. Who is the most paranoid in the game? Most paranoid. Some quick answers on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody says Will, except for Dylan, who says Austin. Oh, okay. Correct answer is Will. Everybody but Dylan scores a point. All right, score update. We got Austin in the lead at five, Brady, Devin, and Aaron at four, and Will. Cassie and Dylan both at two. Question six. Who is least likely to keep a secret? Three. Two, one, reveal. We got three oh. Austins over yeah. here. No Will's idea. in the middle. I changed it from Will Austin. Aaron says <laughs> Dylan. Yeah. And Brady says Austin. <laughs> Correct answer is Will, Dylan, and Cassie. Oh, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> position in the game. Three, two, one, reveal. We got some Dylans. Devin says Aaron. Aaron says herself. Brady also says Aaron. Correct answer is Dylan. Yes. Scores are tight. We got Austin at seven, Will at six, everybody else is at five. Now, question nine. Who is most likely to stay true to their word? Three, two, one, reveal. Will says Aaron, Austin says himself, Devin says Dylan, 
Everybody else says Aaron. Aaron says Brady. Correct answer is Aaron, yeah. Will, Dylan, Cassie, and Brady this. score. Did you see my All right, moving on to question 10. Who could never survive alone on an island? The one I was mad about was that I couldn't survive on an island because, fun fact, I totally could. I <laughs> mean, <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one, reveal. We got some Austins over here. Dylan says Cassie, Cassie says Devin. Aaron and Brady both say Cassie. Correct answer <laughs> is Cassie. Dylan, oh, Aaron, and Brady. <laughs> I know how to do all this. I know how to lay tiles on the floor. I can build a shelter. <laughs> I know how to do electrical. Ooh. Ooh. Score update, we got Austin, Brady, Dylan, and Will at 7, Aaron and Cassie at 6, Devin at 5. Moving on to question 11, we've got 5 left. Who is the most likely to not get a vote at final tribal council? 3, 2, 1, reveal. Make sure I got the answer. All right, we got some Devons over here. Devon says himself. <laughs> Dylan says Will. Cassie says herself. Aaron says Devon. Brady says Cassie. There are three correct answers. Oh, damn it. Aaron, Devon, and Cassie, which means everybody but Dylan scores a point. <laughs> Who is the most underestimated person in the game? Three. Two, one, reveal. Will says Devin. Austin says Aaron. Devin says Cassie. Dylan, Devin. Big mix. Aaron, Cassie, and Devin seem to be the consensus. However, Devin is the correct answer. Brady, Leave them up. Will, and Dylan score a point. Question 13. Who is the most likely to stab you in the back? Three, two, one, reveal. We got lots of wills. Dylan says Austin. Cassie and Aaron say Dylan. Correct answers are Will and Aaron. Brady, Devin, Austin, and Will score point. Score up <laughs> We got Will and Brady at 10, Austin at 9. Dylan at eight, everybody else at seven, but we've only got two questions left. Here we go, question 14, who is the least deserving of being in the game? Three, two, one, reveal. Devin says himself. Lots of Devons. Cassie says herself. Brady so also in other people's heads. says Cassie. There are two correct answers. Devon and Cassie. Everybody gets a point. All right, in contention, that leaves Will and Brady at 11, Austin at 10. Final question. Who is the most deserving of being Soul Survivor? Himself, I hope. Will says Aaron. One of you is correct, and it is Brady saying himself, which means Brady wins this challenge and will be safe at the next vote. All right. Final question on the quiz, which was not part of the scoring, was who would you like to give an advantage to in the game? We had a tie between Devin and Will. So, we're going to our tiebreaker question. The winner will get an advantage. The answer is a number. Whoever is closest to that number will win. Can you go over the number? You can go over. Oh, okay. Between what and what? 
can be any number. So the question is, how many days was it from the start of the game to when we first merged? So what day did we merge on? We'll give you 20 seconds. There's Devin and Will. Five, four, three, two, one, reveal. That's a zero. <laughs> All right, the two people who are playing, Devin and Will, although everybody else seemed to guess, Devin said 34, Will said 60. We started this game on September 3rd, and we merged on October 23rd, which was 51 days. So Will I get it. is the closest. <laughs> Finally. And can take that advantage. Okay. Other order of business. Brady, come and get it once again. You will not lose this one unless it is of your own doing. <laughs> Brady stays <laughs> at this week's Tribal Council, which will happen right in 20 minutes. Yep. Hold it! Give me the... Uh-oh. Devin just got... Who got the advantage? Well, 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 now I'm mixing myself up. Okay. We gotta find out. I think it's my shoe. Wait, can I just catch up with you guys in like a minute? Mm -hmm. Um, you might wanna... Is anybody in here? Congratulations, you have been given an advantage in the game. Your advantage is knowledge. The knowledge is that there will be a final two. God damn it. Two people. I'm pretty sure. I talked with Will yesterday, and I think he's still Yeah, why is there so many lines? I think we should go talk to other people. Yeah, I think we should Two go. minute break. Okay. Let's yeah. come back. Wait, wait, wait. Who are, who are we going to go for? Napkin? Is this just for fun? Mm -hmm. Okay. That is good to know. That is definitely information that I am not going to. Oh. It's not relevant. No. What are we doing? It's not relevant at all right now. What is it? I'll tell you later. Okay. okay. All right. What's up? What's going on? Hey. Hey. I got a little piece of paper. Um, it's just knowledge. I can't fucking believe that everyone had to like harass me about it. Why are you asking me? Like I just caved like that. Like I wasn't gonna. Like I'm literally in a position where it's like Aaron can make it me. She could like make it me tonight. I had to tell her. <laughs> All right. It's a final two. Are you fucking kidding me? It's a final two. Okay. I don't really know why I'm telling you. Okay. Um, just putting it about Austin. I would like to, yes. Let's do it. Okay, if you're on board, then I can just tell the others. Like, they'll, they'll yeah, be totally on board. Yeah, okay, let's perfect, do it. Okay, perfect. Let's it's final two. Because I, I yeah. have to tell them what to do. Because they think they're going to have to vote. It's not an answer, babe. Just tell them. Good point. Awesome. That's it. That's Thank you so much. It's Austin. Awesome. Thank you so much. Awesome. All right. Thank you. Brady winning was just... Dylan would vote out Brady um, if he didn't win immunity this week, and he won, so the alternative plan was to vote out Austin. It's too easy. It's too easy if it's not relevant. Like, and like, I'm saying this, like, I'm good. So right off the bat, um, Brady was like, we don't know what the advantage is. Um, it could be immunity idol, it could be an extra vote, it could be stealing a vote. So I was like, let's vote for Devin. Tell everyone to vote for Austin. Let's vote for Devin because no one's gonna put no, no one's gonna expect that. And me knowing that like, Devin and I are an alliance, I had to like nonchalantly play it off like, like yeah, that might be a move, um, but we also don't know what the advantage is. Let's try to go talk to him because it'd be a lot better if we got out Austin 
or even will this week. We just like, I just told him, I was like, hey, it's final two. Yeah, go ahead. No, 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 I don't. Hey. I think he played it well, to be honest. He showed it to everybody, and I think that he might have been at more of a risk tonight if he didn't do that. So I, I respect the move. I know. Hi. Hi. We're thinking about spinning up Will and Devin, but we don't know what the advantage is. Okay. Do you know? Do you know? The good thing is, no one has said my name. That's good. For sure. So I feel like when Aaron out, I mean, I don't want it to be Will or Devin on myself. I think Aaron has backed up all of us too many times. I think she's playing in the middle. I think that's dangerous. I think there's no telling what she's gonna do. She's a wild card. She's the most underestimated. Everyone wants her to win. So I'm just like, let's just go 3-3, three, three, be fair, Hufflepuff it. If we go to rocks, we go to rocks. I would like to go 3-3 three, three and duke it out because I think that's just fair. And then Austin is like, hey, we should all vote out Aaron because it'll be a fair, equal game. And that's my one pitch right now. And I was just like, totally awesome. That's, that's a great idea. I think, I think, I'm like, I've been wanting to play this a fair game for all of us at this point. The reality is just like, that, that was like one of the worst pitches I've ever heard for anything in my life. And just have a nice, clean ending to the game because this has been so toxic and it's been tearing me up inside. And I really just want this. So you want rocks? Not rocks. I want it to be, I think. If you go 3-3, three, three, well, that would be rocks. Okay. I'm at information overload right now, and it's awesome, but at the same time, I have no idea who's telling you the truth. I can't believe that I told everyone right after I walked out. Like, literally, all I had to say was, I'll tell you later, and then they would have been too scared to vote me out. It makes me a little nervous now, because now everybody's playing like it's a final two, and not just me. Well, how do you tell everyone? I think we'll spot on that, so I don't think he would, and I think... It's gotta be like an idol or something like that. It's, or like some kind of vote getting or giving, so. Because I would have had some advantage and then I would have 100% not been the target tonight. But instead, I told everyone everything because I can't keep a goddamn secret. <laughs> and now they could just vote me out because they got all the, they got my knowledge. They got my fucking knowledge. They can just vote me out now. Yeah, no, he's not, he's not gonna play him. If it's an immunity, he's not playing it for Austin. I can guarantee you that. Okay, but I don't think they can save her. Uh, what's actually gonna happen, we will find out shortly. This is why I love this game, this is why I hate this game. It can very well be me, and everyone's making a pact to vote me out. I have absolutely no idea. So, uh, if this goes out in a blaze of glory, I'm down for it. I love this game, but I hate this game. Right, everybody everybody pair up with the producer. Yeah. You guys gotta get a quick five minute confession. <laughs> Welcome members of our jury, Emily P, Emily B, and Eliza voted out at the last tribal council. Alright, so the jury in, we just had the last challenge 20 minutes ago. Brady was touchy subjects and Brady won immunity, so Brady and Dylan are both safe. We'll get right to it. Will, how was trying to strategize for a whole week in a span of 15 minutes? It was very stressful. Um, it was it was it was hella stressful. <laughs> so I had the unfortunate situation of finding out the advantage that I had knowledge about the game. So right away, everyone ran up to me asking me what it said, and naturally I said, "I'm not going to tell you." Okay, fine, I'll tell you. <laughs> Which because I can't keep a secret. So now everyone knows that there's a final two. There you go. Jury of nine, final two. Everybody knows! <laughs> so, uh, and then, yeah, it was very stressful. Uh, basically, just, just trying to make sure that the best move happens tonight and that I, and that the best move is typically the one where I don't get voted out also. So, yeah. 
Aaron, you were kind of in the middle last week. Do you feel in the same position this week at all, or not really? I would say that, like, I'm, I was voted, like, most loyal, right? And so as long as you have my loyalty, then you have nothing to worry about. So that's what I'll say about that. Devin, reaction to that at all? Uh, no comment. <laughs> Awesome, you guys were on the wrong side of the vote last time. Does that make you nervous at all this time? Oh yeah, it makes me nervous. I have no idea what these crazy people are thinking. Um, for all I know, it could be me. For all I know, it could be Will. For all I know, it could be Aaron. For all I know, it could be Aaron. I don't know. For all I know, they could vote for you. I have no idea what's happening. That's happened before. Will, do you feel kind of in the minority this week? Or you maybe are going to have to turn on one of your own? Or are you trying to find cracks on the other side? Oh, you, all you can do is look for cracks. I mean, I've been looking for cracks since day one. You know, the game is about crack. Brady, you obviously just won immunity a little bit ago. Feeling safe this week, <laughs> unlike last week. Shit, <laughs> I can't steal it this week, so. <laughs> yes. Wait, can I just draw attention, like, and this is just, this is a thing of beauty, that you won the challenge by voting yourself most likely to win. <laughs> that is true. That was, that was a thing of beauty. Yeah, that is... Dylan, if you didn't have that this week, have you been nervous at all? I was nervous, Coop. <laughs> <laughs> nervous guy. <laughs> <laughs> so going back to last week, you take Brady's necklace for this week. What do you think of that play now? Do you, would you stick to that, or...? I don't think things would be that much different, honestly. Alright, then it is... Time to vote. Cassie, you are up first. I, hope I heard a few plans in the past 20 minutes. I hope the one thing that Aaron says that matters is not bullshit. Alright, if anyone has a hidden immunity item and would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. Okay, once the votes are read, the decision is final. The person voted out will be asked to leave the tribal council area immediately. I'll read the votes. First vote. Austin. Aaron. Austin. Austin. Three votes Austin, one vote Aaron, three votes left. Twelfth person voted out from the fifth member of our jury, Austin, for your torch. I don't have a torch to bring. Got it for you. Austin, the tribe has spoken. <laughs> Time for you to go. You guys, this has been so much fun playing this game with all of you. It's been just one of the best experiences I've ever had getting to live my dream. I can't thank you all enough for this. It's almost Thanksgiving. So thank you, each and every one of you, for being awesome. Yes. No matter what, I want to be your friend who's all outside of this. You are all amazing people. Play hard. Don't settle for anything less than winning. And don't be complacent and honor the game, because I know you all love this as much as I do. And please read my blog, because it's fun. Yes. Love you, bye. <laughs> love you, bye, Austin. All right, well in a fast-paced week, the six of you stuck together, and it's only gonna get crazier and more fast-paced from here. Grab your stuff, head on out, good night. Next week on Survivor Michigan. So there's a new alliance. It's um, Devin, Will, and Dylan. People are beginning to seem like, are, begin, are gonna start thinking like, this is probably the person, like, this is the person that could win this game. Aaron could be, like, the biggest threat at Final Tribal. Thank you so much for letting me do this. And I can't wait to be a part of the jury. And I really hope that we have a great ending to the season. And you guys, I may not have won Survivor, but I won because I met all of these fantastic people who I love dearly. So thank you, Survivor. It has been an honor. Sayonara.
Wow. That was something.